Ah, there you are. I figured you'd still be here. Nerds like you are always so predictable. Hey! Hold it. I'll let you go when you stop trying to run. <sighs> Would you cut it out and listen to me? I'm just here to talk. Yes, just talk. Well, like it or not, I'll keep bugging you until you listen to me. So promise not to run. And I'll let go of your wrist. Got it. Hmm. That's better. Now look. You know Jackson, right? I think he's in at least one of your classes. Well, he's planning some big party at his place this weekend. And, of course, I'm planning to go. But I just know my goddamn ex is going to be there with a new boy toy. Yeah, yeah, she dumped me, all right? Just hurry up and get all that laughing out of your system. I'm telling you this because you're going to come with me as my girlfriend for the night. That way, she can't say anything about me still being single. No. What do you mean, no? Hey. You should be grateful I'm even asking a geek like you in the first place. What? Why am I even asking you? Uh, well, you might be a geek, but even I can admit you aren't, you know, completely unattractive. And besides... I know how much my ex can't stand you, so you're clearly the best choice to get on her nerves. Hey, hey, hold on. At least let me finish. <sighs> okay, I'll admit that was poor choice of words in my part. But look, my point is, if I go by myself, I'll never hear the end of it. And, luckily for you, you are my best option. Why should you go? Oh, come on. A nerd like you should jump at the chance of going out with the most popular guy in school. Even if it is just for show. Hey, would you quit running off? Oh, okay, okay. How about we make a deal, then? What kind of deal? Um, well... How about I promise to put in a good word for you with the popular kids? No? Uh, okay. Then... I don't know. Would you take money instead, then? Still no? <sighs> Fine. Then what do you want? What? Oh, come on. You're still stuck on that. I keep telling you I didn't take it. And even if I did, it was over a year ago. I mean, for God's sake, it was just a dumb piece of jewelry. Why are you still so hung up on this? Wait, 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 wait. <sighs> okay, okay. I'll... I'll figure something out with the thing you asked for. Yeah, yeah, I promise. Then... Do we have a deal? What? You want some insurance? Seriously? <sighs> God... It's like you see me as some kind of criminal or something. Fine, fine, let me think. Okay. How about this? On the night of the party, I'll be using my dad's car to get us there. 
And I know I'm dead if anything happens to it. I'm saying that I'll give you my keys when we get to the party, alright? That way, for all I know, you can take off with it and do God knows what with it. Is that enough insurance for you? <sighs> Finally. Alright, now that that's settled, I guess I'll pick you up Friday night then. And try to wear something nice, okay? Fake or not, my girlfriend has to look presentable. Ah! Hey, that was my foot. Ah, all right, all right. I'll lay off the rude comments, okay? Sheesh. Ugh, what is taking her so long? If I knew I'd wait this long, I would have brought my... Oh, wow. Ah, no, 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 I didn't say anything. J just come on, we're gonna be late. Hmm. Looks like Jackson pulled up all the stops. Okay, now that we're here, try not to wander off on your own, okay? Well, the whole point of bringing you here is to bug my ex, remember? And besides, you also have my keys. Yeah, yeah, sure, you can go get a drink at least. Hey, uh, mind grabbing me one too? Please. Yeah, thanks. Jeez. She's a stubborn one, isn't she? Hmm? Oh, Jackson. Hey, good to see you. Yeah, of course I came. Why wouldn't I? Hey, I didn't go to the last party because I was busy. And besides, this time I have someone to go with. <laughs> yeah, the girl that just walked off is my date for the night. Yeah, I'd figured you'd recognize her. And she's in one of your classes, right? Oh, you sit right next to her. Hmm, huh. I didn't realize that. Hmm? You're surprised? Surprised about what? That she agreed to go with me. Well, I know we've never been on the best of terms. But why is her being with me so surprising? <laughs> hey, saying she hates me is a bit much, don't you think? I mean, okay. I may tease and make some harmless jokes, but what could I have done to make her hate me? You heard that I... Oh, for God's sake. She mentioned about the jewelry thing too, didn't she? Okay, look. I didn't steal anything, okay? And I've been trying to tell her that, but she won't even give me a chance to... Oh, oh, hey, you're back. Yeah, th thanks for the drinks. Uh, no, 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 we weren't talking about much, so you didn't miss anything. Anyway, it was nice seeing you, Jackson, but I think we're gonna go and look around now. Hey, this is probably your first party. Gotta show her around. Oh, jeez. No, no, nothing's wrong. Anyway, see you later, Jackson. Hey. Was elbowing me really necessary? Oh, come on. Was I wrong? You clearly aren't the partying type. You wouldn't know. What do you mean? Oh, this 
is really the first party you've been invited to. Huh. Well, I mean, I kind of figured. But still. Well, either way, you can do whatever you want here, but make sure you stay close to me. Last thing I need is you wandering off on me. Huh? In case my... Oh, right. Right, in case we run into my ex. That's right. No, no, no. I, I didn't forget. I just... Uh... Just still hope we wouldn't run into her, is all. And hey, who knows? We might get lucky and she wouldn't show. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, do what you want, but stay close. And try not to embarrass me, got it? Hey, quit rolling your eyes at me. Uh, God damn it. I take my eyes off of her for one second, and she just disappears. And I've been checking every room in the house, and I can't find a trace of... Wait, is that... Hey, there you are. Jeez, I should have guessed you were being in the backyard since everyone's inside. Still, what are you doing out here? I told you to stay close to me. W well, no, my ex didn't show up, but look, the problem is you shouldn't have wandered it off. What? What do you mean, like I care? <sighs> okay. So I was a little distracted talking to some friends for a bit. Did you forget who asked you to come here in the first place? Well, well, yeah. I said it was just for show, but... Oh, okay, I know you only came because of our deal, but... Ugh. All right, all right. I get it. Jeez. I didn't want to believe it, but you really do hate me, don't you? What makes me think that? Well, considering how unhappy you've been all night, it's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> I guess this makes the entire night a waste then. What do I mean? Well, the thing is, okay, don't be mad, but I may have fibbed a bit, just a little when I invited you. <sighs> All right, the truth is, I didn't make you come because of my ex. I just, I needed an excuse to make sure you wouldn't say no. Well, can you blame me? It was obvious you'd say no if I asked you outright. You already avoid me like the plague. And on top of that, I know you're already way too good for me. I mean, you're much smarter than me. You're definitely prettier than any girl I met. And the fact I've been nothing but a jerk towards you all this time doesn't help. But, I just... I wanted to show a better side of myself tonight. And when I saw how beautiful you look tonight, I thought my chances were good. Though... Habits die hard, I guess. Because the moment I saw anyone I recognized, I just put up the act again. You know, the... 
high and mighty jerk act. <sighs> yeah, yeah, go ahead and laugh. Though, I am sorry for, for everything. I know worrying about my image is no excuse to bully someone. And I know it'll be a long time before you forgive me. If you ever choose to. But still, hopefully this will help. N now, before you say anything, uh, please let me explain first. I know a major reason you've hated me all this time because you thought I stole this. But that's not exactly what happened. You see, I always remembered how you wore this almost every day. But that day you took off for some reason and left it at your desk. When I saw that you left it, I really only meant to return it to you. But like an idiot, the minute I left the classroom, I bumped into someone and dropped it, causing the charm to, well, shatter. Then when I saw you coming my way, I scooped it up and ran. <sighs> In hindsight, I can clearly see why you thought I stole it. Seeing your bully running from the classroom that you left your favorite necklace in is not exactly a great sign. But the thing is, I only kept denying it because I didn't want to return it broken. So I kept the necklace and looked everywhere for a replacement charm. <laughs> but that uh, proved a little difficult because the charm was very, very limited. I can't even remember how long it took me to save up all the money for it. Still, once I did, I didn't hesitate buying it. Though once I did, that left the awkward part of actually returning it to you. Which, I guess, brings up here. <laughs> I know, this sounds crazy. But it's the truth. I swear. Uh, either way, this belongs to you. And I did promise to return it. Again, I'm... I'm really sorry. And if you want, I... I won't bother you again. My keys? But why? <laughs> Just doing your part of the deal, huh? Well, thanks. Hey, if it doesn't seem like either of us are having much fun here, so how about we get out of here and get some ice cream or something? <laughs> Only if I pay, huh? Well, okay. Though, don't be surprised if I'm a little strapped for cash right now. 